Hey there, Kara from Karenco Creative here. If you're new to me and the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all things needed for your online business, especially for one-on-one -on -one service providers like coaches and consultants. Today um, on YouTube, because we're all about the DIY, I'm going to share a bit more about Flowdesk and MailChimp in case you're making the decision. Right now, especially for Squarespace sites, these are really the only two options that are easy to use. Um, from an outside Squarespace emails. You can use Squarespace campaigns. I don't personally love what they have available. MailChimp integrates really easy with Squarespace and Flowdesk is the only other thing that I know of that really made it easy to integrate into Squarespace as well. So those become the two top choices. So I want to show you the back end. Um, so this is a account that I haven't used in years, but this is your basic free version of MailChimp. Um, and you'll see we have these tags here, audience. So this is basically your list of contacts and you have tags and segments of your list. Campaigns is where all your emails will live. So this is basically all of the, um, emails, um, that would go out You can save templates, automation. So these are user journeys to welcome new contacts, multi-step series of emails. And on the free plan, you can really only send out one email, um, that's automated in order to do anything more than one email at a time, you're going to need to pay for a MailChimp plan. Um, so this is sort of the key features of MailChimp. Flowdesk, so here you can see when you log in, this is the client account, we have MailChimp, or sorry, we have the emails. So these are all the emails that you can see when they were sent and you can see them really visually. So that way, if you wanted to copy one, duplicate it to reuse sort of that template, you know exactly what you're looking at. You also have the forms and these are what get embedded into your website. And this is what I really like about Flowdesk. Um, so with MailChimp, you can actually integrate your form onto a Squarespace form. So the form will be in Squarespace. You just connect it to MailChimp. Um, Flowdesk, you can take this code and add in the form into your Squarespace site. And you can embed any code from any provider. So for instance, Active Campaign is a more powerful email marketing system, but for some reason, their forms just aren't as good looking. So when you put them into a Squarespace site, they don't look good. Flowdesk makes it really easy to have good looking forms get added onto your site. So they're very easy. Um, workflows, this is that um, multi-email. So there might be, you know, five, six, seven emails that are set to go at separate times. And audience, so this would be the full list. I'm gonna have to blur that out um, on the YouTube. So basically, I do think that Flowdesk's interface is just a little simpler. It's a little easier to use for your average person. And they have everything you need. If you're a health coach just starting out, you can do that welcome sequence. You can do everything you need. Um, MailChimp has everything, but it's a little bit more hard to find. And you are going to have to have that paid plan in order to use a lot of features you're going to want, like a multi-step email series. So when it comes down to the pricing, Flowdesk has a free trial and then it's $38 a month forever. So basically you don't have to pay more to unlock features and it doesn't go up. The price doesn't increase when you have more subscribers. So MailChimp, you're really going to end up, you're going to start out at at least this $11 a month plan. Um, eventually what's going to happen typically is that as you need more features, you end up getting bumped up to the $17 a month plan. And the other thing is, this is based on how many contacts you have. So at first you're like, okay, great. This is a good deal. It's a lot cheaper than Flowdesk, but let's say you get 1500 subscribers. Automatically you're going to be paying more than that $38. And you hit 2,500, it doesn't change. 15,000, you're looking at 189. And it's probably going to take you a while to get up to this mark, but still this is the sort of thing where like, you're not the price you're looking at with MailChimp isn't all inclusive, you're going to maybe end up paying more than what you're looking at. Whereas Flowdesk, you know, you're only ever going to be paying $38 a month. So if you're willing to spring for something a little bit more um, to begin with, I really do recommend Flowdesk. ConvertKit is the other one that a lot of people use, but it is harder to integrate with Squarespace. And again, it's based on your subscriber count, so it will go up. And I also don't find it as intuitive as Flowdesk. This is why Flowdesk is really sort of, as much as I do like MailChimp and recommend it for, you know, people starting out, 
as much as ConvertKit I do think is great, I think Flowdesk just hits that sweet spot of being really easy to use, especially for those of you with Squarespace sites, really, really easy to integrate and to keep looking nice in that integration. 